Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Upper Oracle Cloud Infrastructure channel. Today, in this video, I'm going to help you out to understand how do we create compute instances which can be used to deploy our applications and how do we access that compute instance using our client tool. And that client tool can be your WinSCP, it can be your Putty, it can be your FileZilla, or it can be any other tool. So let's see and and see how do we create compute instances in oracle cloud infrastructure but before we proceed further i will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox all right so what the objective of this video after watching this video you will be able to understand how do we create compute instance and how do we access the compute instance using a cloud client tool. It can be your WinSCP, it can be your Putty, or it can be any other tool. So let's begin and see how do we create a compute instance. So in order to create a compute instance, first of all, you must have the Oracle cloud infrastructure tenancy, and you should have at least access of one of the compartments in which you can create compute instances. Also, you must have also, you must have uh, what we say, you must have the virtual cloud network established along with a, a public or private or both subnets. So let's begin. And we already have a VCN as a, a, a prerequisite to create a compute instance. And you see, this is the instance that we have created earlier. And here is the private and public subnet. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create a, create a com compute instance in the public subnet. So in order to create a, a compute instance in the public subnet, what you need to do, you simply click here, go to the compute and click on our instances. And here you have to choose a compartment in which you would like to create your compute instance and click on a create instance. So here you can give a name let's say uh, demo instance for now you have to choose the compartment in which you would like to create the compute instance you have to choose a placement where you would like to create uh, uh, your uh, uh, your instance so i'm so by default it is 83 because I have an Ash one, but you can click on an edit and you can choose any other AD as well. But if you have any other reasons like Mumbai or Hyderabad, you may not have those ADs. You in, in Mumbai or Hyderabad, you have only single AD. So it will be selected uh, only single AD that time. But if you have uh, uh, options to select other ADs, you can select that as well. But for now, let it be. And then security and image and shape. Image and shape uh indicates like which operating system you would like to use and shape indicates like what will be the ocp count and how much memory will be allocated if you would like to change image and shape you can click on an edit button and then from here you can change the image and you can select the linux ubuntu red hat centos and whatever you would like right you can also choose the marketplace images and you can have your own custom images as well then you can choose the shape as well. Shape will decide like uh, what will be your uh, CPU and along with its, its CPU and, and memory. So if you would like to update those, you can do it from here, but that's fine. Let it be as a default. And then under networking. So when you click on the edit button, it will give you an option to choose the VCN and along with the subnet. So I'm going to use my existing VCN, which is test VCN. And then this is my public subnet. Okay, I'm creating this compute instance in the public subnet so that I can access it from internet. So public IPv4 address. So you need to use this assign a public IPv4 address to assign a public address. And there you have to add SSH keys. So you can generate your own private and public key. You, If you have a pub file, you can upload it here. If you already have the public key available with you, you can do that as well. I already have that key. I have generated that key using PuttyGen. Okay. But if you don't have it, you can download a PuttyGen and then you can create. That's fine. And simple 
create. And since it is a public subnet, you will be assigned a public IP and your instance will be created within a minute or two. And then we'll show you how do we access that public instance from my machine. Let it be provision. Here you can see public IP has been assigned. This public IP will be assigned only if you have chosen the public subnet, otherwise public IP will not be assigned. Along with the public IP, it will also create the private IP for you. And this IP will be assigned from the public subnet CIDR range. All right. Let this demo instance to be created and we'll show you how to we access them. So before we access them, we also have to have a couple of more things. Let me open our duplicate tab here. So uh, since it is a public uh, compute instance, you have to have a uh, go back there into the VCN and you have to create a internet gateway. So internet gateway will allow you to give access of the internet of, uh, of that compute instance. So you have to click uh, internet gateway and let's say IG gateway and then create internet gateway. Here you can see the IG gateway is created. So IG, the, the, the purpose of internet gateway is to give access of the internet from compute instance, as well as allow user to send inbound requests to the uh, public resources. So after this is created, you have to attach, you have to add our entry in the route table. So route table is created by default and this route table is associated with my public subnet. If you see here, you can see, okay. You can see route table, default route table for test VCN. So we have to create a route here. This, this is already, you can see route table is there and you have to add the route tool here. Let's say internet gateway, side the range 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0, 0.0.0.0.0.0 internet gateway and then add route. Fine. This is first thing that you have to do. So this will allow the internet access and you also have to go to the private subnet and open that security list and add a ingress rule here so that you can access this instance from your client tool on port 2020, 2240. That's a 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 slash 0 and then port is 22. These are the two configurations that you have to do. Okay, fine. Now let's come back and see my demo instance is created. Now, this is my public IP. I will copy this and I have a tool called FileZilla. And then open this. Okay, create a new site. Okay, let's say it's a SFTP. Enter the host. What is default 2022? 22. You have to choose key file because I have used a public key to inject in my server and you have to upload your private key here. And then user is OPC. Default username is OPC. You can see here as well. OPC. All right. And simply say connect. Okay. And okay and enter the password. Now you are able to log in into your compute instance. Here we go. You can see the home folder is home, OPC. You can simply go ahead and then create another folder as well. Let's say test folder. All right, here we go. So this is how you can create compute instance in OCI and then you can you can log in there as well. Guys, hope you find this video useful. If yes, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.